Welcome to the awakening and today is officially the awakening 40 even though it's 41 days since I've been doing this and I'm really grateful to be here in front of you um, taking you from the darkness into the light as that is my aim to be able to keep you on the straight and narrow and balanced so to speak and I was thinking about what I'd like to talk to, to you about today. And I, I think the things I bring up to you on this program are connected to how I get myself out of certain situations. Like today, for example, um, there's a lot building up inside me, I think. And I just didn't feel right. Um, and I kept thinking, you know, today I planned to do the music for my musical encounters, start working on the score. Um, and I felt great. So that's what I'm doing. I got up, I started working on the score, I was having fun. And, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It was like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this. And I had put on, I had put on the happy news for you guys. Um, a new resurrected happy news, um, which I hope you're enjoying, with happy stories, people from all over the world with happy stories, with positive stories, uh, inspirational. Uh, I've kind of resurrected it and I thought, great, you really, you know, you've done so much. But it was, and I said to my husband, I feel like I've done nothing. Um, you know, I got up and also I set up the video camera and I was going to do a review of Blendjet, of this little Blendjet thing that I've got. And the battery went and so I couldn't do it fully. I did half of it. But something inside me just felt like it's never enough. I, I can't just sit or I can't just meditate or just relax like the cats do. What is wrong with me? It's like it's never enough. So I decided to sit with it and I sat with it. Um, and I let it come up. And that's the answer. To me, you see, we all have our patterns. We all have our ways of coping. I have a lot of tension in my shoulders at the moment as well. I don't like this weather. I want to be somewhere warm, honestly. But anyway, coming back to what I was saying, we all have our patterns and, you know, we have to discover what it is that helps us to move on. And with me, the, one of the things is sit with it. And it was really interesting because in the therapeutic community where I tell my story, chapter eight, in Simply Amazing, they forced me in a nice way, they forced me to stop ringing the validation bell and to sit with it, to sit with the emotions, to sit with the fear, to sit with the pain, to sit with whatever it was that was bothering me in the moment, to give it a chance to come up. And so that's the answer. As I say, I'm, I'm chapter eight in this book, Simply Amazing. You can read about my experiences before the therapeutic community and how I was after and within it. So I thought that's what I'm going to do the awakening about today. And of course, I sat, I sat, I sat on the radiator. I was so cold. I hadn't eaten and again, you need to eat. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, too tired. It's very important. And I sat on the radiator and I just let it come up and I don't need to share what it was I know what it was but it was there it was stuck there since last night it was stuck in me since last night um, and I didn't feel it as much as I felt it today and, and what it was doing it was pushing me into doing more and more and more so there's never enough 
no matter what you do, you know that feeling where you can never ever do enough or never have enough? That was it. That was it. It was some kind of grief uh, of the future, of something that could happen. And something happened yesterday to trigger it. And of course, I hadn't dealt with it because I just couldn't deal with it then. But I was covering up and working and continuously, continuously doing, doing, doing. And even though I, I was happy, I said I was going to do these things and I did them. Oh, but you haven't done the awakening, Lord. Oh, but you haven't done this. And I thought, I'm doing what I said I would do today. And usually that's enough. No. So I sat with it. And as I say, I let the grief come up, wherever it was, came up. I cried. My husband was very, very kind, held me. And that was it. I, I got up. I, I didn't feel as cold as I did. Maybe the, the energy was able to circulate in my body. And it's interesting because I did an interview with Kay Ash Kai Ashley the other day who heals people and she heals the body and, and the mind as one through breathing and tapping and going through everything as one collective thing holistically as you know so the cold that i was feeling in my body was actually part of the grief that i wasn't bringing up isn't that interesting um anyway i started to eat as well and of course my body warmed up um but it, it, it didn't feel totally out of balance. It didn't feel like I couldn't cope with this because I was able to bring up whatever I needed to bring up. So it's in my eyes to kill me. So um, that's my message for today. Is instead of running around and checking all the um, social media, and the new and watching the news and barring into all the madness take some time out oh this is ticking my eye <laughs> take some time out to sit with how you really feel give yourself a chance to sit that's it and breathe we'll do it together I can tell you that if you've got pain in the body, like I have at the moment in my trapezius a bit, if, you, if you're not breathing, because oxygen is what we need, okay? So if you take a deep breath in like I do, and imagine your shoulders just opening, opening, opening. You'll be able to even, you will feel you can feel the energy. Keep opening it, opening and opening the energy up, up, up. I mean, I've released pain in my sinuses through doing this. It's a Fallon Daffa exercise. <laughs> Fallon's there. Fallon Daffa exercise where you, you put the hands here and you will feel. You feel like it pulls, like elastic. That's the energy. And you literally do that and you pull. You either keep your hands there, but I usually move my neck very gently, as you can see, very gently. And I can feel something happening here. The energy is being pulled out. If you can feel it. I thought I'd put Pisanelli on the screen. I'm going to try to. So you can feel the peace of those cats as well. But this is a Falun Dafa exercise, a Falun Gong exercise. And you can feel the tingling in your hands. And you just, you can get rid of a headache this way. I've done it. Or um, sinuses. The sinuses around here, I get filled up. You just pull it out. 
with your breath. Another exercise you can do feels a lot easier. I don't know about you, but I feel like the weight has come off my shoulders. It's amazing. These exercises are so simple. Again, you just bring your hands up. Today I'm going to put on here, helping you to release pain out of your body because I know a lot of you suffer from a lot of physical pain. Physical pain can be, is all, usually stress, the buildup of stress and fight and flight where there's not enough oxygen energy flow, uh, going in, in your body so it's blocked gets blocked so what we're doing here so say you have a pain in your shoulders like fibromyalgia what i would do is i would breathe in and i would pull and just know how to do this intuitively and pull and pull that energy you can feel it here in the middle here if you close your hands and open it, you'll feel it's like elastic, and then you pull it out, pull it out, and feel the whole of your body. You feel as your shoulders open, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. That's it, spine is opening up, I'm open. I'm telling you. A lot of the discomfort will go. I've done it and I'm doing it now with you. Okay. Again, we'll do another one. But it, there will be a little bit of relief. Just move your neck very, very gently. Then I want you to close. I want you to take a breath in. And raise your arms up. And to the side very gently and then turn them out and I want you to push outwards this is again Falandafa push 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 this will help with physical pain and keep your feet on the floor push down and up with your head and out with your hands and back and relax and then just put your hands down in your lap. I'll show you. Hands go down in your lap, like that. Down into your lap, okay, like this. And now we're gonna do another one. Another one to help us release, as I said, um, if you have pain anywhere, I personally, when I, if I have pain, I will do it around the area. So say I have pain, I don't know, in my, in this um, shoulder, okay, back to front with this. Uh, so what I would do is I would close my eyes, I'd rub my hands together, get some energy, healing energy into the hands, okay? You get some healing energy into the hands, rub the hands together, okay? And then you're not going to put your hands directly on the pain. You're going to put it all around the pain. And you will feel, close your eyes, you will feel heat or some kind of discovered, I don't have pain there at the moment. With me, the tension is more around the back. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to pull it out like this. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, and then go like that. And do it again. Pull it out. But I recommend you do this with any kind of pain. Keep breathing normally, and then come back, back into balance again. If you want more information, or you want to work with me to help you, um, contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com and I will teach you more. But um, these, these uh, little techniques work. If you have a toothache, trace the nerve. I've done it and it works. 
and just push all the way around that nerve up and down a little pressure pressure and you will release that nerve as i say i've done it i've done it i've done it lots of times and i've been able to that in collodial silver for the inflammation i've been able to release the pain a lot of the time with sinuses as well you need to just do a yoga exercise and that is really just breathing in and it's each nostril separately so you do um, nostril breathing i hope this is helping you because i know a lot of my wonderful friends are going through so much at the moment and if you are suffering from depression sadness um, which the weather doesn't help but I don't feel the same at the moment please make sure you have lots of warm soups make sure you eat you have lots of warm soups you stay warm have a nice hot bath take your vitamin D3 with K2 very very important if the Sun's not shining then depression can get worse D3 K2 also helps the virus if and when there is a virus or a flu bug it helps because it's like the sunshine it is the sunshine vitamin and okay there's different things you can do which i experiment and do work i'm learning more and more every day so i could pass it on to you and if i don't then i'll bring on someone else kai as i say does this work all the time and she gets people out of a lot of pain you can get out of physical pain um, i have done it lots of times my intuition teaches me what the body needs and there's lots of people around now that help you so just look on my facebook and look at my instagram today bo mcdonald did an instagram today and he does the sound and light bed the med bed and of course that helps a lot um but you know if you're depressed i think you need to find something that makes you happy something that it enhances your life and one of my friends is very depressed at the moment because he's an actor and he's not acting and he's not participating and depression can cause you to get more and more depressed that you don't want to do anything you just give up but you need to do the opposite start living your dream start doing what you love come and make a program on moving on tv have some fun you know zoom with a friend you need to do something to get yourself out of that depression but if you really feel you know that and you haven't sat with it you need to sit with it for a while before you take that action if 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 it comes and goes and it's not going away then sit with it and try and let whatever needs to come up usually it's the childhood stuff and if you're very sensitive there's so much going on at the moment so Imagine that Archangel Michael is protecting you with a beautiful blue cloak. Imagine a shield of the violet flame coming up and protecting you. The angels of love and light and positivity are shining on you when you watch this. Okay, let's do a card. I'll just stay sane in the crazy world. Uh, like I say, I'm able to do this today because I was able to come through whatever was bothering me. In, in a positive way to be able to take myself from the dark into the light and that's why I can do the same with you I can do the same with you so let's have a look what card do we pull today walk away walk away today it's time to just walk away you need a breather Sometimes it's a good thing to just breathe deeply and walk away or like me go for a drive alone to get some space When you come back life will seem a bit easier If you can't leave go to the bathroom stay in there for a little bit longer give yourself time Some people put books in there to prolong their stay If you can't walk away and take space then ask yourself why I'm walking away today for some space so I can assess this is from how to stay sane in the crazy world the cards that i channeled today my friends walk away 
how to stay sane in a crazy world. And to all my friends out there that are feeling a bit low, I love you and protect yourself. Go into nature, spend some time in nature, love yourself, walk away, walk away. All right? I love you. I hope you're going to have a beautiful day or a beautiful evening and enjoy the day, what's left of the day or the evening. And namaste. And I hope some of these little techniques will help you to get over physical pain because physical pain is something that I find it so hard, but when I know that people can be are in pain. And um, if you be careful of paracetamol, it will, if you're a woman, it tends to give you bladder problems and pain, um, probably men as well. Paracetamol is very, very strong. I can't have it at all. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I don't take anything, basically. I haven't had anything for over four years since I broke, for four years since I broke my leg, I haven't had any medication because I use only natural um, techniques that seem to work. You can watch the healing, uh, um, the uh, oh god, what's it? The blueprint, the healing blueprint, where Lenny teaches you how to release pain in your body. That's on the holistic show in Encounter. Uh, oh, I'm not editing this. The holistic show in uh, moving on TV. <laughs> okay, watch the healing blueprint if you're suffering from physical pain. It's all out there. It's on the holistic show. Good luck. If you want any more help, then please contact me and we can work according to what you can afford, uh, donations and bartering, because that's how I work at the moment. Love you lots. Take care. Bye.